<laughs> hey, beautiful people, it's Tiff. I'm live. <laughs> this is my first live on YouTube. I'm like, what the heck is this? So, <laughs> oh, you're fucking dying laughing. Oh, never fucking dull moment. So, I'm about to do some yoga. I love this one. Total body yoga, deep stretch with uh, yoga with Adrian. Like I said, this is my first fucking time. So, I don't know if I should like have y'all here. Can you see me doing yoga? Hold on, I'm off. Oh, shit, almost fell. Okay, hold on, let me do it over here. Don't mind the titties. I don't think you can get breastfed. Okay, let's try. Can I lighten this bitch? Yeah, let's lighten this motherfucker. I don't like this shit either. Okay, let me see. Oh, shoot. That y'all can't see me. This is a mother freaker. Hold on, let me see if I can do that. I'm talking like y'all really fucking here. I'm just live and shit. <laughs> I'm fucking on one today. I'm gonna see. I, I can do this. I'm a big kid. I can do this. I'm gonna figure this shit out. I'm such a perfectionist. Okay. Tiff, do it. Tiff, do it. Tiff, do it. Oh, this shit ain't too fucking close. That's all right. Further, further. Oh shit, hey, hey, hey. Can you see me? Hey, let's just try here. Fuck it, I don't give a fuck right now. I really don't try some new shit. New shit, y'all. Let's begin on our backs. See how much y'all need. Come fly down. And right away, we can get here. Um, down there. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, hug the knees into your chest. That's me. That's the fucking kiss of the king. And again, take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, a little deeper, a little more conscious breath here, right from the start, think of your breath in, your inhale, as an expansion. And then think of your exhale as a bit of a contraction, navel drawing in. There's this cycle of breath. Can't see. Breath. That's the problem. You can't fucking see. Oh, For fuck. a deep stretch practice, that is inhale expansion and exhale contraction. I'm joined today by my assistant, Benji. Benji. Thank you so much for being here, Benji. All right, let's take it a couple full breaths to settle in. Yes. And squeeze the knees up towards your Hold chest. On. Notice the quality of air in the room or Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to you. I'm Adrian. I'm Adrian. Yeah, yeah. And that's Benji. And today we have an awesome deep stretch oh total God, body yoga hilarious. for you. So this is going to be amazing if you're wanting to increase flexibility in your body. This is going to be really awesome if you're wanting to stabilize the joints. Everybody needs that. And this is a really great time to just really ease your breath, focus on alignment, and balance out whatever it is you've got going on in your life. So hop into something comfy and let's get started. Mm. Not 
not just the body, not just the physical, but the mind as well, and also your heart space. So that's how we get the most out of this time, the most out of this practice. And it's also a very generous act of self-love. So, so on the surface we have the stretch, but beyond that, there is just so much more. Take one more big breath in. And then again, thinking contraction on the exhale, we're going to peel the nose up toward the knees. Now you may get nowhere near your knees, and that's all good. We're working to create a little bit of spaciousness through each vertebra of the spine. You're also feeling a nice support of the lower back. We're starting to tap into the muscles of our core. And you can stay here squeezing the knees uh, up and in, or re release the fingertip, palms face up, you're gonna reach them towards the front. Breathing deep here, make sure you're not clenching in the face or shoulders, nice and relaxed. Might start to welcome a little bit of heat here. Take one more deep breath in, and one long breath out, and then slowly release head and shoulders to the earth. All right, grab your right knee, send your left leg all the way out. Let it hover just above the earth. Squeeze your right knee in towards your chest, and then open it up just a bit up towards your right shoulder. And then again, right knee towards your chest or figurative heart space. And then over towards your right shoulder. So you're just kind of creating a little compression in the front of your right hip crease. Great. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale to release left heel to the earth. Now, when you're in these shapes, we're not just hanging out, holding, waiting, but especially today with our deep stretch, we're using the breath to move it forward a little deeper, allow it to unfold. So think expansion on the inhale, a little bit of contraction as you breathe out. Now close your eyes and go ahead and soften through the toes and the feet. And again, big inhalation in, and nice long exhale out. Great, one more here, big breath in. Fabulous. Now, again, activate your left foot, so press into your left heel, and activate your right foot, press into your right heel. This time you're going to grab the right hand, or take the right hand, and you're going to grab the inner arch of your right foot. Now, if that doesn't quite, if your hand doesn't quite make it there, just grab the um, inner calf muscle here, the inner leg. Can you grab here? Oh, yes. I am. Create a little one-legged stirrup posture here. So kick your right foot up towards the sky and then anchor your right shoulder down. If this is way, 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 way too much in the hips, just lift your left knee and firmly plant your left foot on the ground for a little more stability. Breathing deep, inhale. And exhale. Opening up through that right hamstring, big inhalation. And long exhale. One more time, big inhale. And long breath out. Awesome. Now take that right foot. We're going to cross it over the top of the left thigh. So just crossing over, creating a little figure for oh. your peak if you need to. And then press the palms down into the earth, connect to your core, and slowly lift the left leg up high towards the sky. Now, left leg does not have to straighten, but both feet are nice and active here. Inhale in, exhale, lower it down. Inhale, exhale, navel draws in, lift it up. Now I'll sink you up with the breath. Here we go. Inhale the lower, exhale the lift. Inhale the lower, and exhale the lift. Press the palms into the earth firmly. One more time. Inhale the lower, and exhale to lift. Awesome. Bend the left knee. Thread the needle, right fingertips go in through the hole, we'll interlace, and we'll squeeze the legs up towards the chest, the heart. Keep the feet active here, and now just a nice full breath through body. 
Lisa, you know, you know, the bill today thus far, anything that you have coming after this practice or on the agenda? Oh, we're still going? Okay, but it's still live. It's like, like, you know, the committees, just give yourself permission to be really present here. I know it's tricky and tough for someone to tell you that, but maybe it's what you need. Just a little <laughs> time and space to stretch and with your breath. All right, we're releasing left foot to the ground and slowly taking it to the other side. So what we'll do is we'll start by lifting the left knee in towards the chest, squeeze, and send the right leg out to hover. We start to tap into the muscles of the abdominal wall here. Breathing deep. So if you're a beginner, you'll start to feel a little shake here. If you've been on your mat for a while, play with the subtle body. Scoop the tailbone up. Draw the navel down, relax the shoulders, play with the natural curvature of the spine, finding support from the ah. oh, So much depth. Play ah. right here, breathing deep. And then here we go. If you haven't already, start to draw the left knee towards the left shoulder just a bit. This is a very small move here. And then in towards center. Again, we're creating just a little massage in the front of the right hip crease. We're also challenging our center of gravity. Oh. Feeling the pressure here. Back and forth, back and forth for thrusting. And then take one more deep breath in. Bring your left knee back in towards your center. So hug it in. And then exhale, slowly release the right heel down to oh. the earth. Oh. All right. Left hand comes to the left inner arch. Move nice and slow here opening up through that hip. So left oh. foot, sole of foot now goes towards the sky. You can bring the right hand to the earth for a little stability oh. or maybe on the front of the right hip crease. We're opening up left hamstring up towards the heavens here. Strong, bright energy through the toes to protect the knee. And then I'm working again to create a full body experience, not isolate experiences. So see if you can relax your shoulders, see if you can let your rib cage just be nice and heavy here. Hips nice and heavy. And then reconnect with your breath, finding a new breath. And again, if this is too much, you can. Bend the right knee, bring the sole of the right foot to the ground for a little stability. And then to release nice and slow, take the hand away, cross the left ankle over the top of the right thigh. So you're opening now left knee towards the bottom right corner Ooh. of your mat. Just take a second to feel that out. If you're super tight in the hips, all of this work already has been uh. Maybe a little bit intense, but all the more reason for you to be here on your mat. And oh. also the reason that we're starting nice and low to the ground so that you're not having to do a bunch of weight bearing work here in the beginning. All right, take a deep breath in, press your hands into the earth. You can also grab the outer edges of the mat if it was a little bit hard for you last time. Mm. And inhale, lift the legs all the way up. And then exhale all the way down. All right, sync with the breath here. So big inhale at the bottom. Use the contraction to lift back up and we float. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. And eventually you want to try to slow this down so that you're building um, strength. But just do your best here. So inhale to lower. Move in a rhythm that, that feels good for you. And then exhale to lift. the chin. Try to keep the length from crown to tail here, so it's just an awareness. Hug the lower ribs down and in. Use that contraction of navel to spine to really lift the legs up and hug the lower ribs down. If you're starting to sweat a little here or shake, awesome. Beautiful. Welcome that. It's a sign of being strong and alive, not weak. And then slowly release. Beautiful. Bend the 
right knee, sole of the right foot comes to the ground, thread the needle, left fingertips are gonna go through the hole oh. here, hey y'all, and then squeeze the lower body up towards the breeze, chin, the chest. Squeeze, squeeze, close your eyes. And breathe nice, long, smooth, deep breath. Maybe find some soft, gentle movement in the head and neck. And then release. Awesome. Nice and slow release. Hug both knees into the chest. Inhale in. Exhale. Take your lower body, your legs, your knees all the way over to the left. Open the arms super wide and turn to look past your right hand. Deep breath in. Exhale, navel draws down to the core of the earth. Knees come through center and take it to the other side. Knees fall to the right. Big stretch here and turn to look past your left fingertips. Oh, Inhale twist. Shit. Inhale in. Oh. And exhale back to center. Cross the right ankle over the left. Grab the I'm outer all butt crack out. feet. You're going to stretch the tops of the feet by pointing the toes here and lifting the heels up, up, up. Big breath in. We're also creating nice, strong muscles that hug around the joints. So nice, stable joints here. Kick, 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 kick. Point the toes. Ooh. And then release and switch. Left ankle on top. Grab the outer edges of the feet. And again, point the toes, lift the heels, and kick the, the feet up just a bit here. We're getting a nice stretch in the tops of the feet, the ankles but also creating stability around the knees, the joints. Deep breath in. Oh. And exhale to release. Awesome. Bring the feet to the ground. Nice and easy. Turn to one side and slowly press your way up to a seat. Whew. All right. Sit up nice and tall. Legs are crossed. Ankles crossed. Going right into it. We're going to bring the left elbow down to the earth here nice and slow. Oh, uh, nice. Zen out loud today. It's the word smells a lot. Left elbow to the ground. Oh, so you're going to feel oh. this in the right side body, oh. the back body, the hip. If this is too much, then we'll just lift the hand up here and come in. Once you feel like you have this, start to bring your breath into the picture and allow your right glute, your right booty to get really, really heavy here. So notice we're just hanging out here in the neck, lengthen through the crown of the head. And when you're ready, take the right fingertips behind the right ear and inhale, reach, reach, reach from the left side. Big stretch here, inhale in, oh. exhale, right hand's going to come right to the front. Beautiful, then take it all the way, thumb back, pinky mm. forward, all the way back, open through the chest, and then reach towards the front. And keep this movement going, just a couple more times. Right thumb back, reach to the side, and fingertips forward. And right thumb back, uh, and fingertips forward. Uh, One more time, this time try to really revolve or Rotate your heart all the way up towards the sky. Maybe you look up towards the sky. Big stretch, big breath. And then exhale to release everything. Just take a second here. Head over uh -huh. heart, head over pelvis. Close your eyes and just evaluate how you feel. Uh -huh. Left side, upper torso, Ooh. right side of the torso. All right, and then when you're ready, take the right elbow down. So this is a great one to kind of build, focus on sensation over your shape. If you're just in extended side angle, there's temptation to just really get into that posture and nail the asana. So here we are focusing on sensation over the shape. The left sits, oh, it's gonna wanna come up here. So see if you can anchor, anchor, anchor through the power of your breath, create more space to get that left glute down. Right shoulders over the right elbow here. And again, if this is too much, if we need to 
tap into some deeper, fuller breaths and and have more weeks of regular practice in order to get that elbow down, then let that be the case and lift your right hand to the earth and take your time. There's so many shapes in yoga and just so many experiences that I have that I just never thought I would have. I never thought my body would have that spaciousness. It's like people ask me all the time, have I, have you always been flexible? And the answer is, no way, Jose. So use your breath here. In fact, feel the inhale, feel the skin of your left and lower back stretch. Also really, really good for the body here. Not just your um, muscles lengthening, oh. but so great for the kidneys. Make sure that you're not dropping your right ear to your right shoulder, but keeping that awareness to the crown. And then now, after you've taken a solid moment to evaluate, to notice the sensation and to check in with your breath, take your left fingertips and bring them right behind your left ear. Left on your pinky. And then reach out to the right. Big stretch, big, big, big stretch. Keep the left glute heavy, so you're actively anchoring down through the top of the left thigh bone. And then here we go. Left thumb pulls back, inhale. Exhale, just take your arm right to center. So you're reaching right out in front. And then here we go. Smoothing your left palm on an imaginary surface here. Pull the left thumb back. And back. So you bring it back to center. And now continue this on your own. Ah, oh. so good. Oh. The posture. Oh. Oh. You're gonna feel so awesome after this, man. Pull the left thumb back, breathe in, and exhale, smoothing the palm on imaginary surface through the floor. Oh. All right, and the next time you pull your left thumb back, really pull it back, oh. wrap that shoulder blade around. Open, revolve, chest up towards the sky. Maybe you look up, uh, claw through your right fingertips. Uh, inhale and exhale. Come back to center, nice and slow. Oh, head over heart, heart oh. over pelvis. Take a second to <sighs> evaluate, feel it out. Relax your shoulders. Lift up through your chest, through your heart. Great, inhale in, exhale, make your way to all fours, nice and slow. Tabletop position. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath your hip points. Press into the tops of the feet and claw through the fingertips strong. Then imagine your front body really lifting up here to meet your back body. So lift everything up towards the sky. So we're not collapsing to the ground, but rather defying gravity and lifting up with awareness all the way to the ceiling. And then keep that awareness as you inhale, drop the belly and open the chest. Exhale, navel to spine, crown to the earth. Inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Smooth your breath, exhale, rounding through. Inhale, open the chest. And exhale, round through. Awesome, inhale, the tabletop position. Bring the two big toes together. Bring the knees as wide as the mat. And then send the hips back nice and slow. Reach the fingertips actively towards the front edge of the mat, or in my case, towards Benji. And then inhale, and then exhale, melt your heart down. As you melt your heart down, the option here to really lift the palms up and just press into the fingertips, get a little deeper stretch. And once again, listen to the sound of your breath, thinking about expansion as you inhale. Oh. And contraction as you exhale. Oh. And if that doesn't work for you, just think about getting bigger and Think full oh. breath on the inhale, and then think about getting softer on the exhale. Oh. So bigger, fuller on the inhale, and softer, almost a surrender on the exhale. 
Great, now walk the hands off your yoga mat and over to the left. Big stretch. Let the hips remain heavy here. Inhale. And exhale, chin to chest. Beautiful, inhale, lift the chin. Walk it all the way over towards the right side. Hips nice and heavy here. Inhale, reach, look forward. And exhale, draw your chin to your chest. Awesome. Slow release. Come back to center. Press into the tops of the feet. Come all the way back up. Walk the knees underneath the hips. And here we go. Downward facing dog. Nice and slow. So set your, your hands up with a meticulous love. And then curl your toes. And send <laughs> oh, can you say me? And then peel the tail all the way up. Pedal it out, feel a nice deep stretch through the backs of the legs. And see if you can really be present. I know it's hard to hear that sometimes oh. with the sensation. So perhaps close your eyes in order to do that. Create spaciousness in the shoulders. Whatever that means to you. Maybe opening the elbow creases towards the front of your yoga mat. Oh. Oh. Maybe turning the big toes in just a bit. Maybe letting go of something that's been bugging you. Oh. Awesome. Then when you're ready, anchor the left heel down and send the right leg out. And then slowly bring the right knee all the way up and in as you step your right foot up, lower your left knee down. Fingertips around the yoga mat. We just find soft, easy movement here. Maybe you walk that left knee back. Maybe not. Front knee over front ankle, start to open up to the chest. Breathe in deep. Great, then plant your left palm. You're going to open the right toes out towards the right edge of your mat. And inhale, reach your right arm all the way up towards the sky. Big stretch here, opening up through the chest. And then exhale, bring your right elbow all the way down to the earth. Come in for a little bit of variation here. So if the forearms don't come down, you can stay on the palms. Right toes stay turned out. And then I'm going to press into the top of my left foot here so I can get a deeper stretch. Mm. Listen to the sound of your breath. Oh. And soften the skin of the face here. Notice where you might be holding or clenching or gripping. Maybe allow the head, the neck to relax down. Slowly make your way back up, really, really, really mm -hmm. slow. Hands to the earth. Ooh. Awesome, nice work. We're gonna keep the right hand where it is. We're gonna look back to the left toe. We're gonna lift the hip back up, the uh, hip points back up, excuse me. And then slowly we're gonna shift. So lift the hip points up just to come back, and then lift the left toes. Come see if you can grab your left foot with your left hand. There you go. If you're good here, you might continue the stretch by slowly sinking the hips back all the way up, forward. Okay, if this is too much, maybe you walk your right heel in. Another option is to come against the wall and bring your left foot right to the wall so you can kind of work your way back and forth up to the wall. We're gonna, go, we're gonna do a wall series. Oh. Great, last but not least, you might flip the hand so it comes to the left part here, and then you just open up here, open up through the chest. Oh. That's an option. Woo! Um, different variations uh. for different folks. Breathing deep, breathing deep, breathing deep. Notice the awareness I have through my dandha, crown to tail. So again, a full body experience. We'll slowly release the left foot. Woo. Hands will come to the earth. We'll curl the toes under, lift the back knee. Send the right toes back, take a deep breath in, plank pose. Exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Inhale, 
Cobra, pressing to the tops of the feet, moving nice and slow, listening to the sound of your breath. And exhale, release. Curl the toes under, press back up to tabletop position, all fours. And then downward facing dog, nice and slow. Enjoy the journey, how you get there. Ah. Listen to your breath. Oh. Start to get a little weird here. <laughs> Surprise yourself, feel your fingertips really pressing into the earth, stretching. Oh. Go there, find a little more depth. Oh. And as you're ready, anchor the right heel and send the left leg out. And then slowly bring that left knee all the way in. As you step the left foot up, lower your right knee down. So just do a little housekeeping, get your alignment, find your breath. And slowly start to open up through the chest. Walk the right knee back to need a little more. And squeeze your thighs to be in line. Oh, shit. Oh. As you're ready, right hand comes down. And left toes open up towards the left side of the mat. Big in inhale, think expansion. So pull the left hip crease back and open the left fingertips towards the sky. Again, inhalation means expansion, full, open, big breath, big stretch. And then exhale, bring your left, go ahead and bring your left hand over. So bring your left elbow all oh. the way in, all the way in, all the way in and down. Elbows come to the ground, forms to the ground. If not, maybe hands on the earth or even fingertips on the ground or a block. Ain't I flexible? Ah! It out even more if it feels right in your hip. Breathe deep. And then pressing into the top of your right foot for a little stability here. Keeping the shoulders full of awareness. So that just means that we bring our attention to our, our shoulders and they're not just clenching here. Ooh. But again, we're thinking of the body as one moving yep. apart. <sighs> Finding that yoga, that union. Fuck your hips. So we okay. just go deep. And then once you feel like you're situated here, for lack of better words, soften your gaze or close your eyes and maybe bow your head. Relax neck and breathe longer, fuller breaths. Mm. Uh. Woo! Woo! Shit. Ah. Uh. Uh. Notice where your thoughts go and Woo! how you feel in your chest, in your heart, in your belly. Keep paying attention. Mm. Rest for a little bit. Take your time coming out. Mm. Left hand's going to stay on the earth. We're going to bring the hips up and back just a bit so that we can safely come to lift the right toes up and reach the right fingertips back. Now, you might not make it, and you might have to pad the knee or double up on the mat here, but I'm on the front here, and I'm just reaching back, just checking to see if I can grab it. If not, I'll save it for another day. Being up on a block here on the left hand does help give you a little space. And then if you feel all right here, create a little stability by opening up through the chest, Woo! lengthening through the crown. There you go, there you go. You choice to drop the hips a little deeper. But listen to your body oh. and let your breath be that constant barometer. Oh. We revolved the chest oh. earlier. You might find that opening, oh. bringing the right hand to the inner arch here, breathing deep. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. And then slowly releasing. Come back. Ooh. Lift the back knee up as you're ready. And here you go, stepping left toes back, plank pose. Create one nice long piece from the crown to the tail, crawl through the fingertips, inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. Lift the shoulders, pull the elbows back, big inhale, close the bra. And then exhale, release. Nice, press up to all fours. Bring your knees into the center of your mat. 
And we'll send it back, Balasana, belly to the tops of the thighs, fingertips all the way to the back edge of your mat. Rest your forehead on the earth and allow your shoulders to get really heavy here. Oh. Awesome. Slowly take your time coming back up. Bring the hands in front. Walk the knees out. And actually, let's go ahead and turn to uh, come to the, the side of our mat, or rather, long ways on the mat. Your hands will come off the mat. Your knees will stay on the mat. And then you're going to walk the knees out just a bit, a little bit wider than the hips. And you're just going to check out how you're feeling here. And then if you feel good, you're going to open the toes right to left. And we're going to slowly come into a little froggy variation here. Maybe you come onto the elbows. And the breath is so very, very, very important here as you drop the heels down to the earth. And you can use a block or pillow here for your forehead or your elbows if you want to do this um, you know, outside of this practice. But just breathing deep enough. It's not going to be here so, for long, so breathe, breathe deep. Some people will be, will be able to go a lot big, deeper here, but just take your time. Notice what comes up. And then take the last three, four, five breaths to go ahead and close your eyes and allow the head and the neck to relax here. Oh. Keep the feet active, please. Just a little energy in the toes. Lots of awareness in the shoulders. Breathing deep. And this is one where you want to give up before it's over, so stick with it for one more cycle of breath. You got it. You got it. You got it. All right. From your core strength, navel draws up, and that's what brings us out of it. Nice and slow, pressing into the palms, walking the knees back. Woo! All right. Woo! Curl the toes under, and for just a moment, you're going to send the hips back on the heels. And you're going to use the palms to walk up, 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 up the thighs. Oh. And you can leave the top of your hip crease here just a couple times. Oh. Sweet. Awesome. We're going to come forward. You're going to walk the right knee in front. You're going to pick the left knee up and you're going to cross it around. So if this is new for you, take your time, peek at me. We have the right knee in front of the left. Mm. And I'm going to bring my toes as wide as the mat. Sorry, you'll come back to face the front of your mat. And here we go, sending the hips back, golden cross and cow legs. Mm. I love coming into this shape from uh, all fours. It helps me quite a bit. So give it a try. Keep the toes active, send the hips back. And you can stay here, fingertips reaching forward. You can also tuck the chin. Maybe you bring uh, the hands behind the back, clasp opposite elbows, open the chest. Maybe hands come to the arches. So whatever variation you're choosing today, make sure you are syncing up with your breath here. Give your thinking mind a break now and just breathe. Our practice is almost done. You're doing amazing. Bringing peace and harmony to the body because, well, you deserve it. To come out, slowly reach the fingertips forward. Lift your center up in space. Send your cart forward, Woo! and nice and easy, we'll unravel, come back to all fours, mm. reset. You can take a cat-cow here if you like, mm. and we'll take it to the other side. And whenever you're ready, by bringing the left knee forward, lifting the right knee up, bringing it behind, and finding your gomukhasan mm. cow legs on the other side. So take it nice and slow, keep the toes awake. 
Notice how this side is perhaps <laughs> quite, very quite, different. Quite different. What? Uh, well, this is such this is such a great shape, even though it can be a little bit of a bugger because you uh, do a lot of activity. Like you you put a strong load on your body a lot. Like say you play a sport or you do active strength training, and it's great for you. But it's also great if you don't. If you just sit at your desk all day and you're wanting to bring more activity in your life, this this is just a win win for me. In my, mm -hmm. in my opinion, go more cross and sit it down low. And find a variation on this side that works, that feels good for you today. And once again, give your thinking mind a break. Literally listen to the sound of your breath. And welcome peace and harmony and spaciousness to your body your mind. You deserve it. From your center, so from your middle, so you're not just pressing your hands into the earth, but it's coming from a real place. Again, create a Full body experience, begin to roll up. And this time from here, unravel the legs and you're gonna take them nice and wide. So you might, depending on where you are in your room or your space, or maybe you wanna do too much. What? You take the leg nice and wide and so you can stay facing forward or you can bring it to the side. And if you're, like me, I used to try to always like prove something. And take the toes up towards the sky. And the thigh bones nice and heavy. And your fingertips will start to come nice and slow. Keeping the toes up towards the sky and the thigh bones nice and heavy, you'll begin to come forward. And maybe come onto the forearms here, maybe not. Maybe in time you climb lower to the ground. I highly recommend uh, listening to the sound of your breath, but also find a soft, easy movement here that feels good. Just keep those toes up towards the sky. Thigh bones nice and heavy and you'll be nice and safe here. Keep breathing deep. Eventually letting the crown of the head relax. And maybe even the corners of the mouth begin to lift a little bit here. There's a relaxed stretch, so. Three bring the yoga part. second if you haven't already to close your eyes and just witness the unfolding as you breathe deep dropping to the jaw relaxing to the shoulders Slowly bring your awareness to the space between your navel and your spine, and from there begin to slowly make your way back up. 
Awesome. Move together nice and slow and come to lie flat on your back. Oh, yes. Bring the feet as wide as your yoga mat. And let the knees, so don't hug your knees up to the chest, but keep your feet on the ground doing something different than before. And allow your knees to fall to the right. So you're creating like a 90 degree angle, what feels like a 90 degree angle with the legs. Breathing deep, let your hands just rest gently on your belly or your ribs. And then shield wiper over to the left. Oh. Ah, nice, long, smooth, deep breaths. Go ahead and bring it back to center. We send the legs out long one at a time, arms out, and lay by your side. Snuggle the shoulder blades underneath your heart space, your chest, and take the deepest breath you've taken all day, all morning, noon, or night, whenever you're practicing. Use your exhale to relax the weight of your body completely and fully into a mat. And close your eyes. And see if you can soften everything, relax everything. Take a second to notice how you feel. Did awesome work today. Repeat this practice regularly to witness the unfolding and to grow your practice. So a lot of times these heavy vinyasa classes need the backup of a nice in-depth, mm. stretchy, slow breath kind of muscle focus practice. So repeat this one regularly. Stay here as long as you can. Otherwise, start to wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers. And bring the hands together and we'll bring the thumbs right up to the third eye. The light in me recognizes and honors the light in you. From my heart, Benji's heart, yours.